Yo, what's going cool on today's video? I got how to make a Jujutsu Kaisen game part three. If you haven't seen the first parts, go watch those. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of stuff set up, scripts and UI set up. So you need to go watch part one and part two before you get to part three and stuff. So uh, as you guys can tell by the title, part three will in this part will include combat and stuff. I'll be integrating combat and stuff. I'll probably be adding a hot bar um part four. Like I'm similar to what I'm doing with my battleground series, but yeah. So if you guys want me to continue the series, simply just leave a like, just leave a like on the video, leave a comment, let you know, let me know you enjoyed the video, and yeah. Thank you guys for all the love and support, Miss Sean. What's up to everybody who's watching the premiere right now? Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so it's honestly not that much to really add and stuff. As you guys recall, we have our clan ability requirements folder in um server storage. Then we have you know. You should have all your clans inside of this folder, parent of this folder. So I only have the Gojo clan, right? And then you should have your four ability or however many abilities you have, right? So here's how it's gonna work. So first things first, on the, on the local script, all we gotta do is actually just add one simple thing. We need to make it to when the player presses a key bind, it triggers, you know, an ability. So for me, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Like when a player presses either one of those key binds. So if we click the arrow right here, press enter, and then we do else if input, that key code is equal to enum dot key code dot one or right and then we would just and then we just copy and paste this so control c control v right and then of course we would just change it to two and then you would just keep going so you would just control c control v control v then i would you know close the space and then you would just change them to you know three and then four then enter right so that we have that then at the end and then we're going to say core event fire server in quotation marks you're going to put combat then you're going to put a comma and then let's specify that type of combat so we're going to put ability because you know it could just be because you know like if you're doing like if the player is pressing the left mouse button then you'd want to put m1 not you know abilities and then lastly we're going to send over the input the name of the input key code okay. then we're going to move on to the server script so up here we're going to need to actually create a module script right so we're going to insert a module script into the uh core script server side one and then we're going to rename this module script to combat module right and then we're going to come back to this module script we're going to go over here right and then we're going to create a variable for the combat script for the combat module i should say so i'm going to say local combat module is equal to require script dot combat module right so i actually forgot to i i honestly don't know how i forgot this but i actually forgot to make it so that the clan level saves and stuff so pretty much I, like i left this out of the data store so to simply add this all we would need to do is just do clan level dot value is equal to data three and then just we can just copy and paste this so just control c control v and then of course you need to add it down here i'm just copy and paste this so control c control v and then i'm just change this to plan level then control c control v boom and just like that now uh our clan level will save so then we're going to come down here and then we're going to add another event so we're going to click the arrow right here then enter you're going to say else if event type is equal to in quotation marks combat then enter we're going to create a variable for the combat type we're going to say local combat type is equal to arg1 short for argument number one and then we're going to say local ability number is equal to arg2 right and then we're going to say if combat type is equal to in quotation marks ability it means to press either one two three or four right and then we're going to create a conversion table the reason why i need to do this is because so when it sends over the name of the keybind it's going to send it over as like a, as like the word version of the number it's not going to say one or two it's going to say one or two like the word version but as you guys can clearly see here we have we use the number right here right we use the number there and then in, inside of the ui we also use the number so i need to actually um i actually need to convert it right so we're just going to make a simple table we're going to say we're going to say local conversion table right is equal to special brackets enter and then you're going to say regular brackets quotation marks one right is equal to one and then comma at the end and you guys should see the pattern going on here we can really just copy and paste this to save ourselves some time so control c control v control v control v and then as you guys probably could assume we're just going to change didn't mean to do that we're going to do two 
three and four, just like that. And we're done with setting up the conversion table. And then we're gonna create we're gonna create a variable. We're gonna say local converted ability number is equal to conversion table special brackets ability number, right? Then we're gonna put a space and we're gonna use a for loop. We're gonna say for i comma v in pairs. We're gonna say game dot server storage dot clan ability requirements get children enter right we're gonna say similar to, to actually this loop up here so we're gonna say if v dot name or sorry we're gonna say if v dot name is equal to player dot stats folder dot current clan dot value make sure we're accessing the correct clan right enter you're gonna say for i2 v2 in pairs v get children so all the abilities of whatever clan so for me it would be the gojo clan all those abilities so i'm then gonna run through some checks first and first i'm gonna say if in quotation marks ability right and then you don't want to put a space so we're gonna say if ability dot dot and then we're gonna and then we're going to um say converted ability number is equal to v2 name to make sure first thing first we're getting the right ability because there's four so we got to make sure that it's the correct one to make sure the names match right and v2 dot name wait is equal to v2, oh sorry sorry equal to v2 dot name and player dot stats folder we need to make sure that the player is either at the required level or is above the required level to use it because obviously if they're level one we don't want them using the level 15 ability so the stats folder dot clan level dot value is greater than equal to v2 dot level requirement if i knew if i remember how to spell correctly requirement that value enter you're then going to say combat module regular brackets in quotation marks sorry in quotation marks you're going to put ability we're gonna do actually the same thing so ability dot 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 inverted ability number and then on the outside you're going to put um uh, parentheses and then you're going to put the player this is so that we can call over the we can call the function as we listen over the player right so now we need to actually go over to the module script and set up the combat so first things first I, I like changing this to mod it's like no particular reason but anyway yeah so we're just going to change that to mod right then we're going to get some services we're going to first get that debris service so let's say local ds is equal to game get service debris then I'm going to get the sound service. So local SS is equal to game, get service, sound service. And then lastly, I'm going to create a variable for the tween service. So it's equal to game, get service, tween service. I do want to clarify, I will be making the first ability, but I just want to clarify something. This is not the official one. Like I have a video where I show you guys how to actually, I actually have a video that show you guys how to make all of these abilities and stuff. I'm just making this simply because I don't want to sit here and type up like 50 to 70 lines of code and stuff for if I, I'm just demonstrating to you guys. I have videos that actually show how to make each you know, laps blue, um, reversal red, uh, hollow purple and stuff. So yeah, so this is just the basic, but this isn't actually how it works, uh, stuff, but anyway, so yeah, then we're going to get into the actual thing. I do have my sounds here for light, lightning and stuff that, that really matters, but yeah, so we're going to get into setting up the function. So first things first, we're going to say mod dot ability one is equal to function in parentheses player and enter. So you guys are gonna have multiple abilities i'm just gonna have one because i'm just demonstrating to you guys now when you guys make your other abilities i mean i'm pretty sure you guys could tell you were just copy and paste this joe v changes to ability two and then ability three ability four like you would just keep adding them you just keep adding a function for each ability right so then you're gonna have abilities you're gonna have pretty much four you should have four different functions or however much abilities you have but yeah if you have four abilities then you'll have four different ability functions and then you're gonna check to see which clan the player is a part of and then based on that clan then it's going to you know play whatever uh gonna run whatever code is needed so we're going to say if player dot stats folder dot current clan dot value is equal to gojo so the gojo clan right enter and then we're going to create a variable for the player's character we're going to say local character is equal to player dot character right and then we're gonna i'm gonna create an infinity spear so i'm gonna say because you guys know the first ability is uh percent i'm gonna swear a uh a laps blue spear but yeah so as you guys can see the first ability is laps blue right so we're gonna say um local spear 
is equal to instance.new in quotation marks we're going to put part um inherited to the workspace enter we're going to say some properties we're going to say spear.cframe is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot c frame then we're going to say spear dot color is equal to color three dot new zero comma one comma one just a nice light blue right then i'm going to say spear dot material is equal to enum dot material dot um what did i go with i forgot l force field yeah no and then we're gonna set the shape i'm gonna say spear dot shape is equal to enum dot part type dot all right then i'm gonna say spear dot size is equal to vector three dot new 20 comma 20 comma 20 right then i'm going to say spear dot anchored is equal to false and then spear dot can collide is equal to false right oh sorry i meant i meant to say anchored is equal to true yeah i had it backwards but anyway then i'm going to set up the tween i'm going to say local laps blue tween i guess is equal to ts create but spear for the instance come between info dot new the duration 0 0.35 seconds right comma enum dot easing style dot linear comma enum dot easing direction dot out put a comma between the parentheses special brackets size and then you see size equal to um beer dot size times two right comma transparency is equal to one right then you're going to play said tween so you're going to play the tween right and then you're going to set up a for loop going to say for i v in pairs workspace get children enter right you're going to say if v find first child is a humanoid and v dot name is nil equal to player dot name so of course you don't damage yourself and enter and then you could do some damage as well as you know slow and slow players down for a little so you could do it like you could do it like let's see you can do it like this. You can say like v dot humanoid dot walk speed is equal to like force. Like they can they can walk, but they can barely, but they can barely move. And you can also damage them. So v dot humanoid dot health is less than equal to five, right? And then we could we could set it up like this. We could say like pass that weight uh like one like a second and a half later. Then we'll one we'll need to destroy the spear. So we'll say spear destroy. And then after we'll set all the um we'll set all the players back right oh i'm stupid oh my god I'm, I'm actually stupid jesus christ i just realized i didn't actually like do a calculation to make sure that they're actually in they're actually in range okay let me let me do that real quick i forgot to do that okay and i mean luckily i'm not you guys aren't really supposed to be copying this down if y'all want to y'all can't but you don't have to so in quotation not quotation in parentheses you're going to say character that uh, humanoid root part that position minus v dot humanoid root part that position on the outside you're gonna say that magnitude is less than whatever range you want so i'm gonna say less than 10 then i'm gonna do this and then um and then yeah so after that um we could do we could do like four um we could do like four and then i guess like after that we could do like i don't know like maybe like a pass that away just wait like one second really just so it like lasts like a second like a second and a half and then after i will destroy the spear so i'll destroy the spear and then i will copy and paste this i'll do the loop again control c control v and then no damage we're just gonna set their walk speed back to normal 16 and then boom just like that guys we are done we can go ahead and test to make sure this works as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber the link can be found in the description and stuff if you guys want a part four of this series just leave a like on the video show the video some love leave a comment saying you want part four and definitely drop in the comments whatever you want to see in part four so if i click play right so if i press one um i think it's happening let's see value cannot be converted to a number what? Volume level cannot be converted to a number. Why can it not be converted to a number? It's just zero. Um. Well, isn't that strange? Value cannot be converted to a number. Uh. -uh. Why is that? So is that? 
Hmm. So it looks like it's an infinite yield, so I don't think... Yeah, it's not going to work. Huh, that's weird. Value cannot be converted to a number. I don't understand. Value cannot be converted into a number. Why would it not be able to be converted into a number? Clan level dot value. Yeah, clan level dot value. Yeah, it's, a, it's a number value. That's weird. I've I've never seen that. I've never seen an error before. Value cannot be converted to a number. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, value number. Add a roller package three. Hmm. If it gives me the error again, then honestly, I'm I'm just have to fix that and then just show you all the fix for it in part in part four. If that's the case, if it just gives me that error again, it's weird. I've never seen that before. Hmm. So it's, the ability isn't working, but I have a feeling it's because of that. Okay, I'm gonna remove this part. I'm gonna remove this. I don't know why it's doing that for some weird reason. Okay, so maybe this was why I didn't include this. I thought I just forgot, but maybe there was maybe there was a reason why I didn't include that. Well, anyway, okay. Now let's see if everything is working as intended. So if I load in, and then let me show I have the right clan. Yeah, go to a clan. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now everything works. Boom, there we go. So yeah, as you guys can see, since I am, uh, what's it called? Since I am, you know, I'm level one, and then if you go to server storage, you'll see that I need to be level one to use the ability. Boom, it works. So yeah, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like, subscribe. If you enjoyed, if you guys want to see a part um, four, show the video lots of love. If you guys need help with anything, join my Discord server. Link can find in the description, and I'll see you guys next video. Thank you all for watching.